Act One of Hansel and Gretel, a fairy opera in three acts. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Hansel and Gretel, a fairy opera in three acts, by Edelheid Wette and Hendelbert Humpernick. Hansel and Gretel, Act One, at home. Scene 1. Small, poorly furnished room. In the background, a door. A small window near it with a view into the forest. On the left, a fireplace with chimney above it. On the walls, many brooms of various sizes. Hansel sits near the door, making brooms, and Gretel opposite him by the fireplace, knitting a stocking. Susie, little Susie, pray what is the news? The geese are running barefoot because they've no shoes. The cobbler has leather and plenty to spare. Why can't he make the poor goose a new pair? Then they'll have to go barefoot. I, a papaya, pray what's to be done? Who'll give me milk and sugar for bread? I have none. I'll go back to bed and I'll lie there all day. Where there's not to eat, then there's nothing to pay. Then we'll have to go hungry if mother would only come home again yes i am so hungry i don't know what to do for weeks i've eaten naught but bread it's very hard it is indeed hush hansel don't forget what father said when mother too wished she were dead when past bearing is our grief then tis heaven will send relief yes yes that sounds all very fine but you know off maxims we cannot dine oh Gret it would be such a treat if we had something nice to eat eggs and butter and suet paste i've almost forgotten how they taste oh gretel i wish hush don't give way to grumps have patience a while no doleful dumps this woeful face phew what a sight looks like a horrid crosspatch fright crosspatch away leave me i pray just let me reach you quickly i'll teach you how to make trouble soon mount to double crosspatch crosspatch what is the use growling and grumbling full of abuse off with you out with you shame on you goose crosspatch away hard lines i say when i am hungry surely i can say so cannot allay so can't chase away so if i am hungry i'll never say so will not give way so chase it away so that's right now if you leave off complaining i'll tell you a most delightful secret oh delightful it must be something nice well listen brother kin won't you be glad look here in the jug here's fresh milk twas given to-day by our neighbour and mother when she comes back home will certainly make us a rice blancmange hansel joyfully dances round the room rice blancmange when blamange is anywhere near then hansel 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 is there how thick is the cream on the milk let's taste it oh gemini wouldn't i like to drink it tasting it what hansel tasting aren't you ashamed out with your fingers quick greedy boy gives him a rap on the fingers get back to your work again be quick that we may both have done in time if mother comes and we haven't done right, then badly it will fare with us to-night. Work again? No, not for me. That's not my idea at all. It doesn't suit me. It's such a bore. Dancing is jollier far, I'm sure. Dancing, dancing, oh yes, that's better far. And sing a song to keep us in time. One that our grandmother used to sing us. Sing then and dance in time to the singing claps her hands brother come and dance with me both my hands i offer thee right foot first left foot then round about and back again hansel tries to do it but awkwardly i would dance but don't know how when to jump and when to bow show me what i ought to do so that i may dance like you with your foot you tap 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 with your hands you clap 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 right foot first left foot then round about and back again with your hands you clap 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 with your foot you tap 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 right foot first left foot then 
round about and back again that was very good indeed oh i'm sure you'll soon succeed try again and i can see hansel soon will dance like me claps her hands with your head you nick 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 with your fingers you click 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 right foot first left foot then round about and back again with your head you nick 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 with your fingers you click 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 right foot first left foot then round about and back again brother watch what next i do you must do it with me too you to me your arm must proffer i shall not refuse your offer come what i, what I enjoy is dance, dance and, and jollity, jollity. Love, love to, to have, have my, my fling, fling. In, in fact, fact I, I like, like frivolity and, and all that, that kind of thing. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, tra-la-la. Come and have a twirl, my dearest Hansel. Come and have a turn with me, I pray. Come here to me, come here to me. I'm sure you can't say nay. Go away from me, go away from me. I'm much too proud for you. With little girls I do not dance, and so my dear adieu. Go, stupid Hans conceited hans you'll see i'll make you dance tra-la-la 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 come and have a twirl my dearest hansel come and have a turn with me i pray oh gretel dear oh sister dear your stocking has a hole oh hansel dear oh brother dear do you take me for a fool with naughty boys i do not dance and so my dear adieu now don't be cross you silly goose you'll see i make you dance tra-la-la 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 come and have a twirl my dearest hansel come and have a turn with me i pray sing lustily hurrah hurrah will i dance with you and if the stockings are in holes why mother'll knit some new tra-la-la 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 sing lustily hurrah hurrah while i dance with you and if the shoes are all in holes why mother'll buy some new tra-la-la 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 they dance round each other as before they then seize each other's hands and go round in a circle quicker and quicker until at length they lose their balance and tumble over one another on the floor scene two at this moment the door opens the mother appears whereupon the children jump up quickly hello heavens, heavens here's, here's mother. mother what's all this disturbance twas hansel he wanted twas gretel she said i silence idle and ill-behaved children the mother comes in unstraps the basket and puts it down can't you it working yodeling and singing as though to a fair time hopping and springing and while your parents from early morning till late at night are slaving and toiling take that gives hansel a box on the ear now come let's see what you've done why gretel your stocking not ready yet and you you lazy bones have you nothing to show pray how many besoms have you finished i'll fetch my stick you useless children and make your idle fingers tingle in her indignation at the children she gives the milk jug a push so that it falls off the table with a smash gracious there goes the jug all to pieces what now can i cook for supper she looks at her dress down which the milk is streaming hansel covertly titters how saucy how dare you laugh goes with a stick after hansel who runs out at the open door wait wait till the father comes home with sudden energy she snatches a basket from the wall and pokes it into gretel's hands off off to the wood there seek for strawberries quick away and if you don't bring the basket bring full i'll whip you so that you'll both run away the children run off into the wood she sits down exhausted by the table alas there my poor jug lies all in pieces yes blind excitement only brings ruin oh heaven send help to me not if i did give them no bread not a crumb for my starving children no crust in the cupboard 
No milk in the pot. Resting her head on her hands. Weary am I, weary of living. Father, send help to me. Lays her head down on her arm and drops to sleep. Scene 3 A voice is heard in the distance. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, little mother, here I am. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, bringing luck and jolly tea. Rather nearer. Oh, for you and me, poor mother, every day is like the other, with a big hole in the purse, and in the stomach, and even worse. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, hunger is the poor man's curse. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, hunger is the poor man's curse. The father appears at the window, and during the following, he comes into the room in a very happy mood, with a basket on his back. Tisn't much that we require, just a little food and fire. But alas, it's true enough, life on some of us is rough. Hunger is a customer tough. Yes, the rich enjoys his dinner, while the poor grows daily thinner, strives to eat as well he may, somewhat less than yesterday. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, hunger is the devil to pay. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, hunger is the devil to pay. He puts down his basket. Yes, hunger is all very well to feel, if you can get a good square meal. But when there's naught, what can you do, supposing the purse be empty too? Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, oh, for a drop of mountain dew. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la. Mother, look what I have brought. Reels over to his sleeping wife and gives her a smacking kiss. Mother rubbing her eyes. Oh, ho! Who sings sing, singing all round the house and tra la la me out of my sleep? How now? The hungry beast within my breast calls so for food I could not rest. Tra la la, tra la la. Hunger is an urgent beast. Tra la la, tra la la, pinches, gnaws, and gives no rest. So, so, and this wild beast, you gave him a feast. He's had his fill, to say the least. Well, yes, mm, it was a lovely day. Don't you think so, dear wife? Wants to kiss her. Mother pushing him angrily away, excitedly. Have done. You've no troubles to bear, as I must keep the house. Well, well, then let us see, my dear, what we have got to eat today. Most simple is the bill of fare. Our supper's got, I know not where. Larder bear, cellar bear, nothing and plenty of it to spare. Tra-la-la, tra-la-la, Cheer up, mother, for here am I, bringing luck and jolly tea. He takes his basket and begins to display the contents. Look, mother, doesn't all this food please you? Man, man, what's the eye? Ham and butter, flour and sausage, eggs, a dozen. Husband, and they cost a fortune. Turnips, onions, and for me, nearly half a pound of tea. Tra la la, tra la la, hip hurrah! Won't we have a festive time? Tra la la, tra la la, hip hooray! Won't we have a festive time? Tra la la, hip hurrah! Won't we have a happy time? Tra la la, hip hooray! Won't we have a happy time? Now listen how it all came about. 
Now listen how it all came about. Father turns the basket topsy-turvy and a lot of potatoes roll out. He seizes her by the arm and dances round the room. Sits down. Meanwhile, the mother packs away the things, lights a fire, breaks eggs into a saucepan, etc. Yonder to the town I went. There was to be a great event. Weddings, fairs, and preparation for all kinds of jubilation. Now's my chance to do some selling, and for that you may be thankful. He who wants a feast to keep, he must scrub and brush and sweep. So I brought my best goods out, tramped with them from house to house. By besoms, good to besoms, by my brushes, sweep your carpets, sweep your cobwebs. And so I drove a roaring trade, and sold my brushes at the highest prices. Now make haste with cup and platter, bring the glasses, bring the kettle. Here's a health to the besom maker. Here's health to the besom maker. But stay, why, where are the children? Hansel, Gretel, what's gone with Hans? Gone with Hans? Oh, who's to know? But at least I do know this, that the jug is smashed to bits. What? The jug is smashed to bits? And the cream all run away. Father, striking his fist on the table in a rage. Hang it all! So those little scapegraces have been again in mischief. Been in mischief? I should think so. Not had they done, but their mad pranking, as I came home I could hear them, hopping and cutting the wildest capers, till I was so cross I gave a push, and the jug of milk was spilt. And the jug of milk was spilt! Ha 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 ha! Such anger, mother, don't take it ill. Seems stupid to me, I must say. But where, where think you the children can be? For aught I know at the Ilsentine. The Ilsenstein? Come, come, have a care. Fetches a broom from the wall. The besom, just put it away again. Father lets the broom fall and wrings his hands. My children astray in the gloomy wood, all alone without moon or stars? Oh, heaven! Dost thou not know the awful magic place, the place where the evil one dwells? The evil one? What meanest thou? The goblin ogress. The mother draws back. The father takes up the broom again. The goblin ogress! But tell me, what help is the besom? The besom, the besom, only what is it for? They ride on it, they ride on it, the witches. An old witch within that wood doth dwell, and she's in league with the powers of hell. At midnight hour, when nobody knows, away to the witch's dance she goes. Up the chimney they fly, on a broomstick they hie, over hill and dale, or ravine and vale, through the midnight air, they gallop full tear, on a broomstick, on a broomstick, hop, 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 the witches. Oh, horror! But the gobbling witch? And by day, they say, she stalks around with a crinching, crunching, munching sound, and children plump and tender to eat. She lures with magic gingerbread sweet. On evil bent, with fell intent, she lures the children, poor little things. In the oven red hot, she pops all the lot. She shuts the lid down until they're done brown, in the oven, in the oven, the gingerbread children. And the gingerbread children? Are served up for dinner. For the ogress? For the ogress. Oh, horror! Heaven help us, the children! Oh, what shall we do? Runs out of the house. 
Hi, mother, mother, wait for me. Takes the whiskey bottle from the table and follows her. We'll both go together, the witch to seek. The curtain falls quickly. End of Act One <laughs>